the world of woke. Now, when my kids were four, they were kicking a football about and learning how to spell. Uh, most of them knew how to spell, actually. But what they're doing now uh, was not being appointed as LGBT champions, insisting they were gay and going around asking other kids if they were transgender. But that's exactly what LGBT Youth Scotland wants our children to do, primary school children, to be precise. The charity somehow managed to get hold of nearly a million pounds in taxpayers' money last year, almost half of that from the Scottish Government, with the rest from local authorities and the NHS. And it spends that money going around Scotland, running some sort of woke competition where schools hoping to obtain gold status are required to transform their schools into what sound like LGBT boot camps. Each school joining the scheme is told it must appoint at least two pupils and two staff members as LGBT champions. Urged to ask pupils if they are part of the LGBT community, they're told to provide evidence of their LGBT safe spaces, such as gender-neutral laboratories and PE classes, to ensure their school uniform is inclusive and even to put up the organisation's posters and rewrite school policies, undertaking at least one activity which specifically addresses the needs of transgender young people such as conducting a campaign that addresses trans rights, is also required to win that all-important gold award. Oh, and the cherry on top, LGBT Youth Scotland is charging these schools up to two grand for the privilege of being told what to do. It's a world beyond woke. It's completely insane. At this age, children's curious brains are ripe for education, but they're also vulnerable to manipulation. We drop our kids off at school knowing the teachers have a duty of care, but this organisation wants to force children to trade sexual identities like playing cards, declaring and performing them as though something as adult and private as who you want to have sex with is as appropriate for a four-year-old as whether you prefer jam or chocolate spread. In 1932, readers would have shuddered when Aldous Huxley described children being encouraged to engage in erotic play in his dystopian novel, Brave New World. Less than a century later, who'd have thought it could be mistaken for the curriculum at a Scottish primary school? Satire reads more like foreshadowing every day. And that is The World of Work. The world of woke. My panel is still here. The two Sams and Andrew. That's what I'm going to call you. Um, <laughs> Yellow. It's becoming Sam, um, Sam Squared. Sam it's Squared. Becoming, uh, it's becoming a little bit of a, um, a money-making exercise. This LGBT stuff. It's a bit like net zero. Yeah. You know, Look. let's let's all make as much money as possible. Um, regardless of how we do it. Yeah, I, I, but you're right, it is crazy. Mm. I mean, children at the age of Not four. four. Come on. Yeah, children at the age of four, let them just be children. Yeah. You don't need to impose... There should be no hidden gender or, or public ones at that sort of age either. Uh, exactly. you, you need to work on that sort of basis. And, wh and what happens, we were talking about this earlier in the break, we talk in the break as well. Um, what I love about it is uh, that there's the great thing, to call out the wrongs in this world, call out the genuine sexism, call out the genuine prejudice. When you classify everything as racist and everything as prejudicial, you are devaluing yeah. the real claims. And that's the uh, abhorrent thing about yeah. it. I what... think it's more valuable to teach kids that age just that everybody's the same. Well, well just, this, just respect, well, play. I think the, the point is, is that they're not... <laughs> you, use, you use quite incendiary words, uh, Mike, saying things like force and, you know... and you know, well, and make that's it, what and they're make, doing. And making that no one is, no one is or would... Um, Get a four-year-old to talk about. Yeah, but you don't sex, get the gold about standard. It's stuff. a bit like the, no. the whole standard thing. Speaking, you speaking, get, you don't get the the, 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 the mark. Agreed. Do you? But speaking as an LGBT person who, but um, are you an LGBT champion? As an LGBTQ person who grew up in the eighties yeah. and nineties, um, <clears throat> I was made to feel less than. I was made to feel well, foolish. Four. I was, I was bullied. Not at four. Yeah, no, but at, at four, but at, like at, my mum says she knew I was gay when I was three. Yeah. So I mean, these well, well these, these things that so but telling you didn't need to but know telling, that when you no, were but three. but telling children like if I had been told it was it was okay that I liked other boys, then I that would have that would have that would have saved me that would have saved know. me from a lot of grief. No, you that probably came, didn't that came know, because at four you're not sexually active. That's no, I know. Point. From the opposite end of the spectrum, I you know I'm I'm barely out of diapers as as oh, many presenters like to remind me. Leave Andrew. He's in his man diaper right now. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I could smell something, Andrew. But I, um, I, I went to an all-girls grammar school in, yes. in leafy Shropshire, you know, mm. about, as, about as nice and blue and, and Tory as it can get, you know. By all accounts and standards, you would think that that would be a hub of... of you know, of discrimination and 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 forced um, bullying and whatever else. In all girls' school, everyone would want to, you know, mm. prove that they're not a lesbian because that's the, <laughs> that's the that's the uh, the stereotype. And yet, I I was raised in and went to this school for seven years, and it was such a 
an open and expressive and and welcoming mm. environment, mm. Large, largely in part due to the lack of these forced ideas right. and forced yes. and forced yeah. schemes. Don't use that you know, it was like it was. It. It, we do have a lot of. You know, we have a large LGBT community in my in my former school. Many girls were bisexual yeah. or gay. Yeah. There were, we, had like we, have, yeah. we had We had transgender people, and well. they were exactly, and they were per, they were perfectly yeah. welcomed. But they we didn't need inclusivity schemes right. and, sure. and diversity. And that's the problem. And I don't. And I, and, the is, and I don't. Think you, and I absolutely don't think you do need them. I but think the it's, I think it should be. It should be. No, but the problem I've got, you know as well as I do, that all of this stuff gets weaponized by local councils because they get money, and that was my point. Is it becomes about the.